Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, CT, with CT's Touch Horses forward slash dogs. Hey, man. Um, coming back at you guys, man. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize to my regular YouTube viewers. If I haven't commented to your comments, because you know, guys, I, I try to comment to everybody's comment. But the last few days, man, I've been flooded with, with so many comments from... Uh, Man, I call them Raleigh bitches, man. And and I don't mean no disrespect. I mean, that's what she referred to them as, bitches. So I'm going to call them Raleigh bitches, man. But these Raleigh bitches, man, been in my comments. I mean, man, it's tough. They blowing me up, you know. Uh, they don't understand my training. They don't understand how and why. And... and Again, man, you know, I, I like to try to help people and explain it to people, but some just don't get it. So the ones that just don't get it, then I stop trying to explain it to them. But I keep telling them that, that you know, darling was an 11-year-old. So I, I use the word spoiled, but let me use the word soured. She was an 11-year-old soured horse. And what I mean by soured, somebody had already done too many wrong things with her and uh got her spooky got her where she didn't trust you know so uh there's different steps that you take man when you're working with with a rehab type project uh she's she's, she's not she's not normal so you can't do normal normal things in some instances but what I'm going to do, man, is uh, I'm going to attach a playlist to this video right here. And it's a video of a nine-year-old horse that was totally spoiled. And what I mean by spoiled, uh, the young lady that owned this horse, her name is Marie, bless her heart. You know, she thought she was doing the right thing by uh, feeding this horse treats every day. I mean, she had a big pet, a nine-year-old. And I'm talking about this gelding was huge, but he was a big pet. And he, he didn't respect her space. Uh, he didn't treat her as a horse and human relationship. And, and, and what I would like to let some of you people know, you know, the way horses play. Horses play, they bite at each other, they kick at each other, they rear at each other. That's where the term horse play come from. And if you start treating these horses and try to think like a horse, <laughs> then you gonna that horse is gonna uh involve you in some horse play and someone's gonna get hurt. And it doesn't mean that the horse have to be mean or trying to hurt you, but but his horse play is not like our type of play, and it can hurt you. So again, this horse. Man, he had never been in a trailer. Uh, I had to get him in a trailer and trailer him to a place. And it was just, it was hell because he was spoiled. Not soured, but spoiled. She had never put a saddle on his horse, had never ridden him. Nine years old. So I'm going to attach this playlist. And I want you guys that, that, that you disbelievers, I want you guys to look at this playlist and see how well this horse's start was. And I started him with Spurs. The very first ride was with Spurs. You know, Spurs is a tool, and if you know how to use them correctly, then they're just to assist. And, you know, the method that you see me using with Darlin, I don't have to use that with every horse. You know, Darlin was 11-year-old soured, would hurt you, would hurt herself trying to hurt you. So that method I used was to protect me and her. But anyway, man, uh, I just feel the need to make this video because I, I do like to uh, dispel the people that, that that's lacking in, not dispel their rumors, dispel their truth. And try to educate them and, and help them understand. But some of them just don't want to understand. There was a young lady that brought up race and ancestors and slave. And 
I never brought up race, ancestor, and slave. I never said anything about my color. But then they start acting like I said it. So it just lets me know that furthermore, these rally bitches that they don't even read. Or if they do read, they're not comprehending what they're reading and understanding. Because I have not put the race card in this conversation. Another young lady did. I did address it after she tried to put that there. So again, I'm going to attach this playlist. Check it out. And uh, you'll see the difference in a horse that I start versus when I'm fixing someone else's problems. Hey, thanks, guys.